All right, so for this one here, what we're going to do is actually let the kids explore a little bit. We're in a, an assignment that I call like discovery of pHs. So what I have the kids do is come into the school with two or three solutions. They need like two milliliters uh, or less even, like the bottom corner of a baggie, something that they can dip or pour a small amount of into a spot plate. So what you do is you get your students to bring stuff into the school, you give them all of the indicators that you have in your school. So universal indicators, um, like general litmus paper, um, all of the dropper bottles of bromoethyl blues and, and uh, phenolphthalein, et cetera. Um, and you let them go to town. But what they have to do really well is they have to um, record their data. So you're putting that on them that they have to learn and develop that skill. If they make a test, they have to record the result of it. Um, once you have that done in a Google Classroom or assigned to them, however you do that, um, the next day you bring them back in and you have them um, populate all of their data into the document. So mine is a spreadsheet that you have all of the, the different items listed that they tested and the pH value or the results that they got for each one. Some students, advanced students, might color code even their results um, so it's visually understanding and appealing. Um, but they have that all listed out and then you have them compare their results to their peers in that same doc. Um, from there, you can actually teach them how to use the inbuilt tools in something like Google Sheets to create a visual representation of that. So a pie chart, a bar graph, whatever. Um, you can order them, show them how to sort their data um, according to like highest pH to lowest pH, whatever it is you want to do. But this actually allows them to have a lot of self-discovery, practice the skill of um, observation and analysis. You can even throw in beforehand um, a hypothesis section where you have them guess what the pH will be. And the nice thing with this one is you can do it before you do any actual um, any actual like lessons or, or anything. So they have these, you know, they don't know what an acid or a base is. They just have this concept in their mind of what it might be. Um, or you have them um, coming up with like their hypothesis and then they have to use the information that they actually just came up with to come up with their own definitions and then you give them the lesson afterwards. So I really like this one. It's worth uh, the time to, to let them explore and have fun. Um, and working in pairs of groups of two or three uh, is always nice too because then they can have multiple, multiple things that they're testing all at the same time. All right, have fun with this one. Bye.